Hello everyone and welcome to Wednesday program. My name is Matt. And my name is Holly. We sound different, but we actually come from the same place. Can you guess where from? That's right. We're from the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom is made up of four different countries. England, Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland. We come from England. I am from the north of England. And I am from the south. Today, we are going to go on a journey all the way from the north of England right down to the south. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. So, starting at the very top, we have Hadrian's Wall. It started being built in the year 112. The wall is so long that it took six years to be completed. Wow! Who built the wall? Good question. The wall was built by the Romans and named after their emperor, Hadrian. The wall separates England and Scotland and was built to stop fights between the two countries. Ah, so it was built for peace. Yes, that's right. If we go a little further south, we will find another landmark built for peace. The Angel of the North. Wow, it looks so big. That's because it is. It's the largest sculpture in England and is a whopping 20 metres tall wow. and 54 metres wide. It must have taken a long time to build. Not as long as Hadrian's Wall. It began being built in 1994 and was completed four years later in 1998. It's placed above a former mining site and it is symbolic of humans' hopes and fears. Can you think of anyone famous who likes to write about humans' hopes and fears? That's right, it's William Shakespeare. He is one of the most famous writers of all time and was born here in Stratford-upon-Avon. I love Shakespeare. You're not the only one. The town gets almost three million visitors every year. You can visit the house where he lived, the places that inspired him, and watch one of his plays being performed at the Royal Shakespeare Company. It's so beautiful. Yes, it looks like we've gone back in time. If we go a little bit further south, we can see another historic place that is home to a very famous person. That's right, it's the Queen. And this is Buckingham Palace, her London home. Wow, it's huge. It is. There are 775 rooms, including 188 bedrooms just for the staff. There's also rumoured to be an indoor swimming pool and a cinema. Wow, it's even bigger than I thought. It's a very important place in England and it's somewhere that a lot of people go to celebrate or to mourn as a nation. It's a place that brings people together. That's right. We've now reached our final destination, right at the bottom of the country. These are the White Cliffs of Dover. Be careful though, we're very high up and it can get really windy. You aren't joking when you say that they're white. They're so bright. This is because they are made of chalk. This is the same thing we use to write on chalkboards. In fact, they are so bright, you can even see them from France. Wow, so we really must be at the bottom of England. Unfortunately, we are. But I've had a lot of fun traveling around the country. Did you, Holly? I did. I learnt lots of new facts about England that I didn't know before. That's good. We hope that one day you will all be able to visit England and see these landmarks for yourselves. See you again soon. Bye-bye.